All right, let me quickly take a few comments from some of our viewers. Uh, somebody is saying, for instance, that um, if TB Joshua's miracles are false, as you people claim, the two of you now, uh, how come some of the things he's doing abroad, if they were fake in Nigeria, how come he's doing miracles abroad? Were, they, were those also arranged? Another person also tried to counter that by asking, um, if TB Joshua is genuine, how come he could not ill in Kayefele? So many comments like that, I, and I think the two of you can quickly respond. Okay, uh, let, me, let me say something on that. Um, <laughs> miracle is not the yardstick to measure spiritual maturity. We are all Africans, even herbalists, they give miracles to, to people that visit them. So miracle is not the yardstick to measure if you are a child of God or if you are not. But I am saying, uh, I'm, I'm recounting my experience as someone who had a first-hand experience in the synagogue. Many miracles are arranged. I was part of it. But the moment you step your feet in the synagogue, you are initiated. Because in the synagogue, a lot of things were buried under the under uh, 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 in the ground are we talking about spear are we talking about axe axe that they have put mm. inside the fire that is burning red whatever that means to him you know a lot of things were buried under the under the ground in the synagogue so anybody who is delivered there need to give their life genuinely to jesus christ because i can count on countable names who left synagogue and they die you made an uh, example of a particular axe, an X that is red, hot, fire, you know, yeah. and planted under the in the synagogue. Are and you aware? The, what, I am, was, that, was I, that done in your presence? Or I you said heard? I am aware of it. Even if you go to the mountain, they call the place mountain. You remember that place I with a lot mountain. of water, Christine? You remember? I, I went there. Okay. I went there. I went in there. that place. Said he went there. Okay, he went there with, yeah, of course. Every visitor must be taken there. And when you go there, you don't wear your shoes, right? No, you don't. You, take, you make sure you leave your <laughs> shoes at the door. So, if, there is another compartment that some people are. They wear multicolored uh, uh, garments. Mm. Multicolored. They, 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 you know, red, blue, yellow, black, white. Some people are wearing black. Some people are wearing white. When they are doing their enchantment, they usually hold, even T.B. Joshua among them, old acts. I've never seen it in my Bible. Mm. The old axe, the old spear, the old sword. Sometimes they will put the sword and the axe inside the hot fire. And when that axe become red, Anybody who is T.B. Joshua's enemy, they will use the picture, uh, they will use the axe and cut the picture into two. What happens to the person? Whatever. I'm a child of God. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to know what... See, after I left synagogue, I met a lady on the streets around Baga. Her name is Diola. Mm. She, when she saw me, she screamed. She ran across the road. And a car almost knocked her down because she was panicked. Mm. So I recognized her. I said, why are you running? Mm. She said, T.B. Joshua told them in disciple meetings that me, I was dead. Because he was too sure of what he, what he did. I have a, 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 an audio uh, recording here. We are uh, a, a man called Akewi. When he had me on the phone. He said, no, it can never be Bisola. I said, it is me. The mercy of God kept me. He said, what T.B. Joshua asked them to do to my pictures is either if I don't die, I will run ment mentor. For me to be alive today, T.B. Joshua needs to give his life genuinely to God. So this water that T.B. Joshua is selling for you, I have the background, is, uh, background story about the water, that particular water. Because in T.B. Joshua's family, they worship a river goddess mm -hmm. in Arigidi. 
They call this Where goddess. Arigidi in Akoko, Undo State. Undo State. Yes. Okay. They call this river goddess, Okota. So they always have a festival for that goddess every every year. And even till till now, every year they do it. TB Joshua participates. Because anytime they are doing it, it normally sends some people with money. You know, you cannot go openly. The water at the synagogue church. Not only water. It's from Arigidi Akoko. It's from Arigidi Akoko. Baba, Baba Zan usually brings some, some, some in the keg of water. Mm. They pour it inside the uh, retainer. Mm. Inside that retainer, four sword. Mm. Four sword mm. are there. Mm. Four sword are there. These are the things you buy and you send to your people abroad. Even now, he has bead and bead. In Africa, bid is what you use in recognized occult, you know, mm, uh, people. Yeah, so they, you know, all these elements, they are just uh, rebranding them mm. in order to make it, you know, uh, nicely so that you can be using it. There was a time, it, I'm sure he still do that. He writes something like Arabic. I have it, you know, I have a copy of that in my book, you know, so that you can know what is you know what is going on i have a lot of informations concerning tb joshua about his occult practices about him you know being sexual reckless and about other things so i feared for my life i didn't go i didn't return to synagogue and the man called steven the man is dead now he died. Oh my God. All the problems that brought him, sorry, all the problems that brought him to the synagogue killed him. How are they? Recently, recently, like three weeks ago or so, I called his wife. I have his wife's number. I pray with her and I, and I told her that I've forgiven him and also the family for uh, allowing TB Joshua to use them coming out and say, me, I do people, and all that. And moreover, all the money, they said they, they, they were flaunting in front of camera. Everything is gone today. Mm. Their, their business is down, and TB Joshua cannot even help them. So Why I was there, something happened one time. It was my seventh year in the synagogue. A man called uh, Pastor Neil Labascockney came from South Africa with some group of people. I was the one coordinating visitors at the time. So when the man came, he came with some invalid people. And TB Joshua was not happy because uh, cripple was among them uh, and some people that they were so sick. So he, he, usually he beat us, he lie us down and give us uh, and, and, and lace our back with us whip. So that day as he called me into the office, he gave me a blinding slap that why should I allow the man, the pastor, to bring cripple to the synagogue? I was, I was, I was perplexed. So I told him that because I was, I was not happy. I said, I want to go home. You understand? I said, I want to go home. He said, I, I, I have the effrontery to face him, to, to, to threaten him that I want to leave. He used his finger to, to mark the ground and said, if I have two heads, I should go. Because I was not happy. I left. And do you know that three days I was roaming around the streets of Lagos. I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> I later know that that, that marking on the, was like a, a kind of... Uh, Spiritual warning. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Hypnotism. It, it's well, hypnotism. Uh, so when I return, I returned dirty. So he now said, I, he then said I should go and give confession. That was the confession is now using to manipulate people and to make people to believe that after I left 2008, I never returned. I'm saying I've said it before and I'm saying it again. After I left the synagogue, February 8, 
my second birthday, 2008, I never returned back to the synagogue. This is a first class footballer, Leo Creighton. Among those people that have been to synagogue was also uh, um, one of the footballers, Amokachi. He, there was no healing. One of the footballers also was also. Uh, was I also remember Kano. Kano Uwanko. You know, this yeah. are the. This well, Kano, go, Kano was healed. Where? 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 He was he, he, but that healing. No, no. I was <laughs> there. He was not healed. He had operation. You can goggle it. Is in is in open space, yeah, public aware. space. I'm aware. TB Joshua said it wasn't it wasn't the see. I can't it wasn't the operation that healed Kanu that he had healed Kanu before. But he went. Kanu is alive and well. I believe one day Kanu is going to come out and confront him. But I, mean, I have this. I have the story okay, so here. Wants to say something. Yes. Sister Abizola, I can use my own case for example. Hmm. TB Joshua promised me that I was going to get a bigger club. But it was it was it was none of those things that he said about my that I was going to have a child that I was going to have, have a bigger club none of those things that he said of my life ever materialized so and again like he said something honestly people are doubtful people are questioning but they're seeing signs and wonders signs and wonders the Bible did not say that it would not happen mm. it says that there will be false prophets that are doing signs and wonders but it's not in the name of Jesus. Hmm. That's where people need to be to, to know. It is not in his, they're doing it, but it is not him that is giving them the power. So, like you said, we are all Africans and we see a lot of things that happen in our country. So, these signs and wonders that people after, they need to be after a personal relationship with their creator hmm. than hmm. following a man like TV Joshua and many others who are leading people astray, lying to them, taking everything from them. I'm right here in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. These things are happening here also. There are pastors who are on television every day telling people that they're going to send them miracle waters, miracle oil, they're going to do this, they need to pay this, they need to pay that. And people are believing these things. That's why our generation is lost in to signs and wonders instead of having a personal relationship with their creator.